I'm trying to find the Office of the Inspector General in an office building in downtown LA. I'm here to file a complaint concerning the police brutality and misconduct I experienced a month prior when the DEA and local law enforcement in Los Angeles worked together to try and plant my own MacBook on me and beat me up in the process. You can break all the laws you want. Yeah, the police don't care. Like I'm not, I'm not playing. I'm gonna bust you upside your head, homie. Get your fucking Get your fucking phone off me, man! You have looks like another backpack. Is this your computer? What? They both are mine! Is this your computer? Hey, we're gonna look at it when we verify yours and give it back. I'm telling you it's mine! Sir, I'm telling you it's mine! He, he assaulted us, we have it on video. When I arrived, I asked a security guard where to find the inspector general's office. He called someone, asked if I had an appointment, and I told him that I had spoken with someone over the phone who said I could file a complaint in person. He then told me to go to office 337 and gestured toward the side of the building that I'm currently on. Hi, do you know where I get the elevator to the third floor? Uh, elevator, if we have one elevator right there. Okay. Going up. Hey, do you guys know, know how to get to the third floor? Third? Yeah. No, I don't even know how to get to the second. I don't even think there is a third floor, by the way. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I think we only two. Okay, all right, thank you. How do I get to the third floor? Does, are these the elevators right there? Now he sends me up to the right elevator, but when I get there, I find out that not only does Office 337 not exist, but almost none of the offices on this floor exist. There's an office with a big American flag in it, so it looks like it could be the office of someone doing police or government business, but everything else is empty. The DEA, as well as other law enforcement agencies, have offices in this building as well. It kind of seems like this entire floor exists just to keep people from being able to find the office of the Inspector General and keep them from filing complaints against the police. I stop recording to call the number on the desk, but nobody answers. I continue waiting for several minutes, and then finally he arrives. Hey man. How can I get to uh, 337? Because it looks like it only goes to 310, and then it goes to only like, uh, like there's like no, how do I get, to, how do I get there? Oh, you already went up to the third floor? Yeah, I went to the third floor and it was like, uh, I guess like uh, about unit 310, I think, and then just sort of cuts off. Yeah, because that's the only, that's the only floor level we have, that's the third floor. So, so is there a way to get to... Because uh... if it's 370, that would be the only one, like, third floor. Well, you said it's 337, right? 370. 370? Yeah, that's what I was told by my supervisor. Okay. And uh, uh, let me look it up on the online. Follow me. What was the name again? Sorry. Uh, it's the Office of the Inspector General. They actually move, so it's actually the same building, but the same here is on 10 4 10 10 10 10 10 10 I'm sorry. 10 2 Yes. Okay, 10 2 Sweet, sweet 10 2 Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. You're cool. Uh, 
When I got to the 10th floor, I'm surprised to find out that the office is completely empty and locked. Even though I had just spoken with someone from the Inspector General's office that day who said I could come in and file a complaint in person. What's even more surprising is that there's a note on the door saying that they're closed due to COVID. Remember, this is December of 2022. Everything had already opened back up, even here in LA. The note also says that if I feel the need to file a complaint in person, I can contact the LAPD's internal affairs. It's almost as if the Inspector General's office didn't want to get involved in all the bullshit the LAPD has been up to, and they're trying to distance themselves. It's also interesting to me that they used COVID as an excuse to not take my complaint when a month earlier, they used a car with a COVID vanity plate to try and set me up and frame me. Given that everywhere we go, we're followed by local and federal cops and that they're listening to everything we do through our devices, I'm sure it was no secret to law enforcement that we were going to the office of the inspector general that day. We were followed by narcs the whole way there and I'm sure they had plenty of time to prepare for us and empty out all their office furniture. Hello, sir. Hello. How can I help you? Yeah, are, are they still closed? They are still closed to the public. Really? Do you know when, uh, for, for COVID? Or because of COVID? Because of COVID precautions, and they don't have any admin personnel. Right now, everybody's telecommuting at this time. So they don't, they until have... Until they modify the, the normal hours. So they have no administration right now? They have administration, but not on a continuous days. So if you wanted to meet with someone, you'd have to call. Several minutes later, a lone office worker emerges from the offices behind the OIG. She's masked to the gills and says that she's the last person to leave the office that day, even though everyone was supposedly working from home. Uh, yes, sir, I apologize. I'm the last one in the group today. Oh, but you, you work here? Yes. Oh, okay. But no, no one else does? Because it looks like it's just empty. It, well, it's a staggered staffing. Oh, okay. Okay. I apologize for that. But if you call, um, I'm sure one of the administrative team members will call you back. Is there if a there's a specific person you want to talk to. Is, is there a better time of the day that I can call? Or is Normal there... business hours, 9 to 5, the, the phones get... Uh, get uh they get the voicemail or a live person so in those two circumstances you can leave a message and then someone can follow up with you with the concerns you have or if you want to file a complaint anything to anything to the accommodation anything to that effect okay all right okay as we left the building, we got a call from someone who supposedly worked in the inspector general's office. They called me on a restricted number and refused to give me their name, but they assured me they would look into my complaint and I'd hear back from them sometime in the next year. It's been almost a year since then and I still haven't heard anything at all. Just eight hours after leaving the office without filing a complaint, the police left the box of fabricated evidence and drug paraphernalia right by where they knew we'd be charging our phones. When we didn't take it, they sent an undercover Ventura cop to hand it to me. When I denied it, they sent the confidential informant over to try and drag it closer to where we were sitting as an LAPD patrol car pulled up to us. What's up? You're on this IP, right? What? what are you doing? What? Get the fuck out of here. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel.